Okay, continuing on, we've gone ahead and we've uh, customized our default query to call fill key card data. Next, what we want to do is go ahead and save it if you haven't already done so for your relations, and then go ahead and close out the form one dot or VB. Open up the key card dot VB, and then open up the. Well, actually, you don't even need to open up that. What you want to do is you want to expand key card dot VB and open up the code here. Now, if you notice, I have a few issues in mind. And the issue is, for some reason, it's generated duplicates. So I'm going to get rid of these duplicates. And then it's also, oddly enough, renamed my method call down here. So I'm going to copy this, or I could just type key card binding. But I'm going to replace up to item and fix this. Next, I don't need this. Uh, statement here. I'm not going to run a loader by default and I'm also going to get rid of these comments. I'm going to save that and you notice I have this new method down here. You probably don't have that and I'm going to cut this out real quick but you can grab that method from the following URL. So from msdn.microsoft.com forward slash en dash hyphen forward slash library forward slash ms171925 dot ASPX. Then go ahead and scroll down or click on the navigation on the right here where it says create a method on form2 to, to pass data to. And then go ahead and copy this visual basic content or this friend method here and paste it into your key card or your form2 visual basic. So I've already gone ahead and I've already gone or created this. So I renamed it from its original state. So let's look at what the original one looks like. So the original has, of course, friend sub, which means from form one, I can access this friend method. And it's called load orders by value customer ID as string orders fill, which we call the default and then what all this content is. And I pretty much changed it up. So if we look down here, I'm going to comment this out so we don't have to look at it completely. If we look down here, I've renamed it, or the friend method, to load key card data because that's what it's referencing. And then by value, we've defined the parameter, which from our query we had called resident ID. It's also placed here for our parameter. And then what's going on here is our key card table adapter. And then what we're adapting is we want to adapt the query we generated, which is the fill key card data query that we created. And in here we have the sample data set. And then the key card table that goes along with it. Continue in the next video to see how we add the additional methods to the form uh, 1VB code to get this finalized.